Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kaga. And up here today, I'm doing a bit of a review slash unboxing of the Laurel and Hardy collection. Um, I want to start off by saying that I'm a huge fan of Laurel and Hardy. You know, I grew up with, you know, my nan and my granddad, my aunt. So I grew up around people that, you know, liked older things. And, you know, I grew an appreciation for, you know, older comedies. I, I love comedies like uh, British comedies like Faulty Towers, Blackadder, Only Fools and Horses and all of that and lately you know I I've been getting to just cinema in general and Laurel and Hardy if you've never if you've been living under a rock um, and you've never heard of Laurel and Hardy then you really need to do yourself a favour. Laurel and Hardy were some of the greatest duo comedians of all time you know from 1920s all the way through to the late 50s I think maybe even early 60s um, Laura and Hardy you know have entertained um, for years you know and what 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 is great about Laura and Hardy is you know each film um, or short you know they, they their movies um, vary from anywhere from 15 to 25 to half an hour minute shorts all the way up until you know feature length films that go on for maybe an hour 70 minutes 80 minutes 90 minutes and so on you know and Lauren Hardy's films range from anything from them being you know just a usual uh, it could be something as simple as them trying to clean up the house or there's ones where they're in the army or they're they're private detectives you know Every Laurel and Hardy film short is its own thing. And yes, there are some sort of ones that sort of, um, you know, not recycle, but use similar things, you know, where they're detectives again. And, you know, but Laurel and Hardy is, is just an excellent, um, you know, type of cinema. But what, what's great about this sort of comedy is it's a mix of both slapstick comedy from like the 30s and the 40s like the Charlie Chaplin style of silent comedy and then you have some more stuff that where they are uh, there what 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 makes a duo gr great when it comes to cinema is is obviously their relationship and and how good they are together you know are they um, compatible and Laurel and Hardy are just some of the most compatible um actors you'll ever you'll ever know you know their their compatibility is so well everything they do together of course you've got um hardy's obviously the more sort of one who's in charge he likes to take charge um and then obviously you've got laurel who's more dim-witted and, and sort of does all the does all the hard work basically does all the odd jobs and the, the handy work basically um but what 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 i love about laurel and hardy is just just their sort of back and forth they have you know sometimes they can have you know you've got a lot of visual comedy a lot of slapstick comedy you know the falling over the over the top um acting where they fall over and everything falls on top of them you know that that sort of comedy that was very common in the the golden age of comedy especially in the silent era um but then you have like some great sort of back and forth moments where He's talking and they're hitting each other and he's telling do this, do that. And he's saying, no, you do this. Um, some of the moments in here are just so simple but work so well. Like where they put their hats down and they're getting their hats mixed up. And they're having this back and forth for like a couple of minutes where they're swapping each other's hats over, giving them back. And, you know, that type of comedy is the sort of comedy that's, doesn't need any explanation it, it it's genius it's hilarious you know it's the sort of comedy that's going to make you chuckle but at the same time you go that is good comedy right there you know comedy nowadays is in your face it's it's over the top it's it's swearing it's sexual and don't get me wrong that has its place but i just don't think that sort of comedy lives up to the genre of you know of what Laura and Hardy have done. They are the master, the masterpieces, uh, the the masters of comedy. You know, you had other comedians, duo comedians like Halen Pace. You had like, um, of course, Abbott and Costello. There was like uh, the Three Stooges, Buster Keaton. All of these heroes of the golden era of comedy. 
um, you know, all the way from the 20s all the way up until the 60s, the black and white era of comedy. And, you know, there, there's some moments in here that just had, like, one-liners that make me laugh. Like, there's one where he's he's read him a, uh, a letter saying that uh, Laurel's read a letter to Hardy saying, oh, his wife's left him or something, um, or his girlfriend left him, and he's, he, he's sitting there and going... Oh, what's the matter with you? And he goes, well, you've just read it, haven't you? He goes, yes, but I wasn't listening. It's stupid little things like that. It's just great writing. It's just the sort of comedy that you, you just love. You, you can't hate on it. This set includes 21 discs. And they come like this. Like that. Um, 21 discs. And each disc contains up to five or six um, films on it sometimes it will contain like for this example this one will contain one feature length film ranging from anywhere for an hour to 80 minutes and then it will contain a couple of shorts other ones will just contain about five or six shorts on here but what's great about this set is it also comes with a um a tribute and some uh, it comes on here with a bunch of rare stuff as well. It comes with some like um, foreign versions of the film. Like this one has a German one. There's a Spanish one on here. Uh, there's like the original versions. There's a, uh, there's a documentary on here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but what's awesome about this set is not only do you get, um, obviously you get three different types of films on here. You get, you get silent era comedy, which is great. And then you get like your black and white version which are restored from the original format and it looks really well yes there's a lot of grain and you'll find a lot of parts in the um, film where it will just cut all of a sudden but you've got to bear in mind these films are coming you know these are near some of these films are nearly 80 70 years old and you got to think prints film you know, because this was done on old film. This isn't digital backups like today, where if a film's on digital, they've always got a backup. Back in the day, they came on big reels, you know, film reels. And if they got destroyed, burned, blown up in the war, something like that, then they're gone forever. So I think they've done a decent job of restoring a lot of the black and white stuff but what's also pretty cool about this i'd say about 80 percent of the stuff on here has a color version as well which is computerized now i will start off by saying that the colored versions while they do look pretty cool to see them in color the de um, the um the quality is definitely a bit lower when i say quality i mean resolution um of course it's dvd quality but I think the black and white versions look a little bit better. They have, because they're restored versions, they look pretty good. Um, and, and I'd say the resolution's a little bit better. You can sort of see things a little bit better, especially in the facial details and stuff. Whereas the coloured versions, it's kind of a trade-off. Do you want to have higher resolution but in black and white? Or do you want to have lower resolution but in colour? Now, I, I've been watching them in black and white for the first time. Um, because 90% of the stuff on here I haven't seen. I've watched um, one uh, discs one to four, but I'm on number five tonight. And if you want to know what the discs look like, what's pretty cool is they come with a little booklet giving a bit of information about each short, some pictures in there, which is it's a nice touch. They're not huge booklets, but it gives a little bit on there. And the discs look like this course all done in black and white to fit the theme the whole box set is in black and white again fitting the theme of course all of the movies make out the two bowler hats like that and then on the bottom here it has every single thing on here i believe there's like 91 in total on here there are a few repeats on here because it's got different versions of the same film but each disc like i said will include a black and white version and sometimes a coloured version not everyone but each disc on here is about three hours long give or take because you've got to bear in mind if you're watching the same thing twice otherwise they normally range from anywhere from an hour to two hours if you just want to watch them once which is really nice and i love it when sets do this they have multiple versions of the same film which isn't unless um thing the front box has of course laurel and hardy on there um, nice 
beautiful um, looking thing. My box is a little bit um, damaged and colour worn over time. From I've had this for years. The inside of the box is just silver. As the same with the bottom. But again, and it has a collection written on here. I'd say this collection has about, I'd say about 80% of the Laurel and Hardy um, collection. Maybe a little bit more than that. There, are, there have been released um, two other sets. Um, there, there, there was a briefcase set which had about 12 DVDs on there. Um, and then there were two um, sets that had... Um, three films on there but those films actually aren't on here they're feature length films but they're not actually on here so just be aware look out for those um two sets um i don't know the actual names of the sets but i have got the films um i can quickly show you what the uh, other ones look like so the other ones came like this um they had uh volume one and volume two um the, they so they come like this, they're blue, and then the other ones are red, have three on, and these are like the feature length films that are like an hour, 70 minutes or so. Um, but just be aware that these ones aren't included in this set. And, uh, you know, that, that being said, I think this set is, is, is a great set for collectors of DVD, but also fans of cinema and Laurel and Hardy fans. This is a must have. Now, luckily, this has gone down in price and you can pick it up anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds. Maybe a little bit more expensive if you're looking for a new copy, but you can find missing CEX for like 25 pounds. Um, I was lucky enough to get it from a charity shop a couple years uh, uh, back five six seven maybe ten years ago for 30 quid and that was still when it was at a decent price online it was like 70 quid online so i got a decent price on it um i've only just started getting around to actually watching it like i said i'm on disc five now tonight which includes our relations brats and twice two um but like i said 21 disc set about 91 films on here like i said films in short should i say um, plenty of hours worth of content on here um, there's no special features the only special feature would um, would be obviously a black and white and a um, colored version but the good news is it does have subtitles on every single one so I don't know if the documentary has subtitles though sometimes they don't always do that with documentaries but that being said, I think this set is a, is a great set and it's fairly cheap now. Um, it is a little bit on the bigger side, but at the same time, um, I'd say this is probably about the same size as maybe possibly like that Marvel Infinity War 4K set in terms of um, length um, without the outer shell, should I say. But I think this set is a must have. It is, it's just a masterpiece of, of cinema. Um, it takes you down uh, an, a different time period. Just be aware that a lot of the stuff on here um, may have some sort of language and um, views that people might not agree with in today's society, of course. But bear in mind, these are from the 20s, 30s, 40s. Um, so the attitudes were different then. So just be aware. But at the same time, if you're one of those snowflakes and you get hatred over Lauren Hardy, I think you don't deserve to even talk. I, I think you need to piss off and get a life <laughs> kind of thing. Um, like there was one part on here that kind of uh, I could see some people getting pissed off by. But at the same time, I kind of laughed at it. It's where he goes, oh, um, oh, you're marrying a woman. He goes, yes. Have you ever heard of anyone marrying a man? And he goes, yes, I have. And he goes, who? My sister. I'm like, that is just genius right in there. But some people probably get offended by that. Oh, gay people can get... Yes, I know that. I have no problem against that. But back in the day, of course. Um, a lot of, but then again... Stan Laurel dressed up all the time in this. He always dressed up as a woman. So, you know. But that being said, um, this is a, a great set. Um, I'm glad to have it. Uh, Lauren Hardy just make me laugh every time. Every time I put Lauren Hardy on. There's nothing like sitting in a dark room at night with a nice black and white film. Lauren Hardy, smile on your face. And, yeah. Um, you just can't beat it. I, I would do individual reviews for each film, but I'd be here forever. Um, so I just wanted to actually talk about this one, do a quick video before I go and pick my son up. Um, but Lauren Hardy, I'm going to give this set um, a, a 9 out of 10. 
Um, presentation wise it looks good it does what it needs to it follows the theme of Lauren Hardy um, I would have liked some special features but at the same time it's kind of hard to get special features on these because again a lot of them are older films um, but there is the documentary on here and there are multiple versions of film and some rare and very rare type of prints and foreign versions as well so there are some kind of special features um, you get great value for your money on here, tons of content, many hours of laughter and of course um, the quality is great. I'd love to see a Blu-ray version of this in the future or at least some Blu-rays of Lauren Hardy. They did it with the Charlie Chaplin films. Um, I, I don't see why Lauren Hardy can't get a Blu-ray treatment. Um, but again... It, it all depends on the prints and if the prints are still around today. I'd imagine Universal might have some of the prints um, still around and possibly we might see some Lauren Hardy Blu-rays in the future, but who knows? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll just do a little show around the uh, end of the camera after I've uh, done my outro but of course for, um, leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and of course comment below let me know do you enjoy Lauren Hardy what's your favorite Lauren Hardy film or short my favorite has to be Great Guns when they're in the army absolutely love it it just reminds me of the stories my granddad used to tell me um, but and as always guys subscribe if you haven't already and join the family follow me on Twitter and Instagram and as always have a nice day I'll quickly show it in closer detail before we end the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.